Someone that's your type? Um, no, uh-uh. Okay, why not? She's uh, so emotional. Um, I mean... Bro, she doesn't even know why. Look at her face again. She, uh, uh, she shook her head. Uh, okay, why not? Um, I mean... Look at that moment. Her eyes going to the side. She's trying to think of a reason to reject this guy when she already got rejected and had a masculine standard enforced on her. It's untenable. It's just no. Bro, she can't even name anything. Yeah. I um, respect it. Yeah. He just seems like he's very combative. <laughs> oh no. Masculine standards are combative. So this is the reason why the left declares war on masculinity. Because any statement of I prefer X to Y is based on a dichotomy of category. And postmodern neo-Marxism, which is the ideology of the left, denies the existence of category. Women will go on this show. It's like going on Dr. Phil. If you're on Dr. Phil, you know you have a problem, right? Because you're on Dr. Phil. And it hasn't gotten resolved before this. So you're on Dr. Phil. Like, but for some reason, nobody on Dr. Phil seems to realize that they're just in really bad shape. Like, their insanity is been normalized to them these boss queen feminists that go on these dating shows don't seem to realize in in order to get a partner you have to go on a show in front of millions of people that's crazy but they don't ask themselves why that's the case because again it's reality's fault it's masculine standards fault it's it's everything else besides them this is the narcissism of feminists that i talked about earlier dude this one's completely crazy this one's so funny i started watching it and this girl i haven't seen this one before where she is attracted to all the guys and rejects them after they reject her first. So as you guys know, if you've seen some of my other reactions to these, these balloon popping dating shows, the men are always way more reasonable, more logical. They give thought out reasons. The women are emotional. The reasons the women pop the balloons are so different from the reasons the men pop the balloons. Typically what you see is that when the women pop their balloon, they're doing it for emotional triggers or one woman pops their balloon and then all the women just pop their balloon immediately because it's like oh my gosh herd mentality everyone be a sheep but with the men it's more thought out this girl though dude i'm only six minutes in and it's it's pretty funny let's enjoy this together remember feminism should be classified as a mental disability you know more of like a low cut what's interesting about this one especially is that the woman in my opinion is objectively attractive i mean yeah she's overweight but in terms of her body i don't know if there's plastic surgery going on but she has an attractive figure so and yet the men are still rejecting her so it's interesting okay um and you know just put more effort on what do you do i'm a mechanics mechanic i'm a technician i fix stuff okay cool so why did you end up popping your balloon i'm a homebody i like the netflix and chill <laughs> i'm gonna be honest yeah okay I think that's cute, like, after, like, maybe, you know, you get to know each other, but in the beginning, it's nice to, like, you know, do things and stuff like that, but, yeah. Being a homebody doesn't mean that you don't go on dates. It just means that you enjoy being at home and chilling, which I feel like most people, if they're being honest with themselves and are in their right mind, of course, you're going to enjoy sitting on the couch with your significant other. It's great. Okay, so no dates. Just Netflix and show all the time. Oh, no, nah, we do dates, definitely, <laughs> you know what I mean? But, I mean, she said that homebodies, that was something that, was no. a deal breaker so you okay. know for me that's something i take pride in and the men versus the women the men stand on their decisions rationally whereas the women stand on their decisions emotionally it's very interesting difference i work mm -hmm. hard i'm a football coach i'm a baseball coach mm -hmm. so you know when it comes to being home yeah i work hard to afford a home so i don't know if the show only selects in the african-american community it seems to basically be that but what I will say is that all these guys in every single show are so much higher caliber than the women. When you ask the women what they do, they're like, I have three kids, I'm 35, and yeah, two different baby daddies also. My career is blah, blah, blah. Like, they have an attitude, they're disagreeable, they're not feminine, they're argumentative. Whereas the men are like, I, I'm a football coach, I do charity on this side, and I'm assistant president to a corporation I've been working at for 13 and a half years. And they're literally in their prime. So I don't know if this is only happening in the black culture where th there's this mistake that happens where women get construed as equally viable in the sexual market sense just because they're the same age as the guy. But what they should do is bring in women with no kids that are young, that are hot, that are feminine, and then have them date like the 30 year old with his life put together. Okay, I like that's to take cool. pride in it. All right. Sounds good. So is he someone that's your type? Already uh, in what she's saying, you can hear a little bit of attitude. Also, her stomach is kind of... Um, no, but... Girl? Oh, no. <laughs> no, Why not? But... Bro, so uh, you see the cove right away because she's clearly attracted to him the way she's been looking at him this entire time. But I'll play that again so you guys can see. For the home, so I okay, like to take cool. pride in it. 
when it comes to being home, yeah, I work hard to afford a home, so I okay, like that's to take cool. pride in that. All right, sounds good. So is he someone that's your type? Um, no, but girl, oh no, <laughs> no. So you own your own house and you football and you're a coach and yeah. Anyway, I have three kids. Oh, Why not? But, um, I like more of like a low cut. Okay. Um, and you know just more effort more but that's okay. it so yeah. she said that she prefers guys with shorter hair which is totally fine that's a preference and everyone is entitled to their preferences unfortunately when men have preferences it's called it's labeled toxic and oppressive patriarchal and tyrannical oh my gosh you like women that are feminine and not argumentative i'm literally a boss queen with three cats but as soon as she said that the guys with long hair start popping their balloons because they're interpreting what she said logically yeah i appreciate but it. you're not my type Okay. Um, simply because I just feel like for me to be with you, yeah. it would be too much. As <laughs> At first, when he said this, everyone's mind went to the same place. It's so funny. As far as, like, you know, you don't want a homebody, so you're going to probably want to keep up with the Joneses. And, you know, me. I didn't say I didn't want a homebody. I said I don't like, like someone that just stays in the house. Like Fact checker like Kamala. Schedule dates out, but yeah, I'm a homebody for the most part. I mean, I am too, but I'm just saying, like, if your date night is Netflix and chill, then I'm just not. <laughs> yeah, that's not my date night. Yeah. No comprehension of words, bro. And John, what do you do? I'm an attorney. I also model and I have a podcast as well. Dude, attorney models and has a podcast. Oh my gosh, you're not quite up to my standards. There's such a dramatic mismatch. And it's not just in the black community. Everywhere you, you see this, where women think because they have because when they open up Instagram, guys are on yachts and driving Lamborghinis, but they're like, yeah, I'm overweight, but I literally deserve something that frankly isn't even in fairy tale. Okay, so you did say the low cut thing. Yeah. But is he someone that's your type? No. Okay. Yeah. Okay. But is it the hair, like you said earlier, or is it something else? Um. Uh, yeah, it's the hair, but it's the outfit too. Oh, okay. Sure. It's giving like Michael Jackson a little bit. But I don't like it when you put in effort to look good. Immediately another balloon gets popped. Dude, you have a girl that, especially the black men, is very attractive, and they're all popping their balloons. This is the quality of, this is what feminism does to women. But you're cute. Thank you. Yeah. Now the shoes are a little bit weird. I'll give you that. <laughs> okay. maybe, maybe he's short. Maybe, you know, he's a 5'10 he's a king and, you know, wants to call himself six feet or whatever. And right over here, your name and age. Justin, I'm 26. Justin, what do you do? I'm a data analyst. Nice. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Same thing. Uh, she said she likes a low cut. I have longer hair, and uh, I don't plan on cutting it anytime soon, so that's why I popped my balloon. Okay. Got it. But is she someone that's your type, apart from her saying that? Yeah, I think she's very pretty. Um, yeah, I think she's very pretty. Okay, got it. Now, is he someone that's your type? Yeah, he's really cute. Um, yeah. Even <laughs> Dude, when women say things, they don't expect, they don't expect what they say to be taken totally logically. Now that's fine, except when they want to be regarded as the same as men, they're asking you to deny reality twice because they're asking you to deny reality when you're supposed to pretend as though they're the same as men. And then they're asking you to pretend as though reality doesn't exist because you have to pretend as though they're the same as men. This is the perverse nature of feminism and it's actually built on the resentment of leftism. This is why most feminists are leftists. With the hair? Yeah, even with okay. the hair, probably the nose ring, but he's cute, he's cute, he's cute. Okay, yeah. thank you. What she said would have disqualified him if what she said was literal. But to feminists, reality doesn't really exist like that. Yeah. Over here, your name and age? So my name is Sylvester, I'm 26. Sylvester, what do you do? I'm in government contracting, so I own an intermediation bit. She likes long hair, I respect that. I have long hair, so. Mm -hmm. Quite a few of them. <laughs> yeah. Really cute. I like the jacket. Really like the outfit. Okay. Appreciate it. I appreciate it. But yeah. <laughs> and over here, your name and age. Uh, my name is this, guy, this guy is her type based on what she said. Short hair, tall, obviously. But because he's rejecting her, she can't admit due to that feminist programming that she actually is attracted to him. Watch. And I'm 27. And what do you do? Uh, I work for Maricopa County Sheriff's Office and I also own my own tax business. Nice. And why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, so she's very beautiful. Uh, the thing was the homebody thing. I don't know. I mean, I'm split between that. But also, uh, you say you didn't like his outfit. I like his outfit and I like to explore fashion. So if I 
come out with something and you don't like it, come out with another fit, outfit you don't like it. I like my woman to, you know, like me and hype me up. So it's kind of, you know, I don't know. I just feel like that would knock it was my confidence down. So. Okay. 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 <laughs> Dude, it's crazy that in response to hearing a masculine standard, the response is to snort with laughter. Okay. This would be cringe and out of pocket if if she was on the same level as him, but she's not on the same level as him because she's old. Her sexual market value is here and his is up here. That means she has less leverage in the sexual marketplace than he does. But upon hearing his standards, her response is to laugh. So you can clearly see that feminism requires women to be delusional and narcissistic. And this is the century of delusional narcissistic women. And this is the reason why through speaking truth, we have to work so hard to save as many of them as possible so that they don't end up utterly destroyed, resenting reality, 55 years old, single childless with cats and blaming men for the reason why their life is in shambles. I just feel like that would knock my confidence down, so. Okay, okay. Okay, <laughs> I'm sorry. Hey. Yeah, that's cool. <laughs> okay, now is he someone that's your type? Uh so she just totally dismissed his standard, which is, I don't like it for you to knock other men down and take away from their confidence, which is completely legitimate. But to her, it's like, <laughs> yeah, whatever. Um, yeah, you're crazy for not wanting me to tear down men. Because <laughs> masculinity, we know that that's a bad thing. Uh -huh. um, no. and then they wonder why they're on a dating show for being single. No, uh-uh. Okay, why not? Um, I mean, someone that's your type. Um, no, uh-uh. Okay, why not? She's um, so emotional. Um, I mean. Bro, she doesn't even know why. Look at her face again. She, uh -uh. she shook her head. Uh, okay, why not? Um, I mean. Look at that moment. Her eyes going to the side. She's trying to think of a reason to reject this guy when she already got rejected and had a masculine standard enforced on her. It's untenable. It's just no. Bro, she can't even name anything. Yeah. I respect it. Yeah. He just seems like he's very combative. <laughs> oh no, masculine standards are combative. So this is the reason why the left declares war on masculinity because any statement of I prefer X to Y is based on a dichotomy of category and postmodern neo-Marxism, which is the ideology of the left, denies the existence of category because category distinguishes between things, including better and worse, desirable and less desirable, right and wrong. And to women and feminists who want to believe the world is made in the image of their resentful delusional ideology that's untenable and this is the reason why you saw what you just saw here i'm breaking it down in a really deep level so you can understand where this comes from he him saying this is my masculine standard is considered combative to women but when women say i prefer a guy that's six feet tall could you imagine if men were like oh my gosh you like to argue it just doesn't make any sense it's it makes no sense at all and his his standard is a good one which is um, I don't want you to, you know, take away from my confidence or whatever. So that's, that makes sense. But to feminists, masculine standards are untenable and it's their enemy. This is the reason they're single. So. She couldn't even say a reason. She couldn't even say a reason why she was not attracted to him. Yeah. All right. <laughs> we do but have. Let's watch her walk out single, bro. Have a unpop balloon down there. Let's head on over. Or will she, will she take the guy just to say that she got one? All right. If we can have your name and age. My name is Jerry. I'm 27. So, okay, there's an interesting point here, which is that women will go on this show. It's like going on Dr. Phil. If you're on Dr. Phil, you know you have a problem, right? Because you're on Dr. Phil. And it hasn't gotten resolved before this, so you're on Dr. Phil. Like, but for some reason, nobody on Dr. Phil seems to realize that they're just in really bad shape. Like, their insanity is been normalized to them these boss queen feminists that go on these dating shows don't seem to realize in in order to get a partner you have to go on a show in front of millions of people that's crazy but they don't ask themselves why that's the case because again it's reality's fault it's masculine standards fault it's it's everything else besides them this is the narcissism of feminists that i talked about earlier the hair come in still a little 50-50 on, I don't know if my hair too long for you or not i i do cut it sometimes the waves be on swim but uh, you love waves? For sure, for sure. The waves beyond swim. Dude, <laughs> this is a different dialect. But yeah, I'm just... The okay. waves beyond swim. Holy shit. I hear more? Yeah, yeah, okay. for sure. All right. So is he someone that's your type? Um, He's really cute. I like his hair. I like the earrings, the beard, and everything. Um, Again, the whole body thing. I just like someone who likes to like live life. Like, I want to live life. <laughs> oh no! <laughs> <laughs> 
bro. Is that 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 timing was so funny. Let's watch that again. Body thing. I just like someone who likes to like live life. Like I want to live life. <laughs> but yeah. Okay. Why we end up popping in the end? Just trying to humble. But she's saying that enjoying time with her significant other watching like a movie is not living life what I say it, I, no 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 it's not even that i just said i respect the whole homebody thing like i'm not really a homebody like when i'm to myself i chill but <laughs> all right well that is all of the balloons popped unfortunately I bet she makes a snide comment about how she but we do thank you for coming on let's thank go ahead you. and give it up for her guys i'll take this thank you she does have big personalities though i mean i mean a big a big uh she has a she has a anyway Next. I want my man to just be for me, but also I want him to be friendly, like with my wow. friends too. Dude, I don't mean friendly. Coming out the gate and just admitting and saying that she wants a masculine man and she wants to be feminine. That's so cool. Only like that, but like, you know, just Let's see if she does better than the last girl. Take care of both of us. Okay. Um, I had a lot of issues with that. A case study. I also want my man to just take care of himself. Like hygiene is very important. Mm. For Okay. <laughs> All right. <laughs> so we don't have any. Oh, we. I knew. You know, every time I say that, somebody always pops. Let's go on over here and see why he ended up popping. All right. Let's have your name. Oh, she's fine. Age. Justin. I'm 26. Hi, Justin. And Actual just princess. You know Justin, I mean. why did you end up popping your balloon? Uh, just too young for me. She said she's 22. Um, this is a little out of. L man. What the fuck? Just because you look really clean and everything like that, but. I don't know. It's just something. Maybe it's because you popped it for me. Maybe that's why you're not my type. Bro, and she's honest and feminine? W. Here, let's head this way. Your name and age? Quan, 29. Okay. And Quan, why did you end up popping your balloon? You indecisive, baby. I am indecisive. <laughs> yeah, see, I need a woman that's decisive. Another L. Feminine women are not decisive. This is the reason why they want you to order for them, etc. Men taking L's now. Like, yeah. I need you to be able to take charge where I can't, so... What? What you Disgusting. just did pretty much show me to. I'm looking for a woman to take charge. Can you do that for me, 19-year-old feminine woman? Like, hello? Okay. <laughs> <laughs> on the, your teeth kind of have plaque on them, so. On the bottom ones. Oh. Damn. Okay. Yeah. All right. Bro, he's not okay after that. Oh, Thank shit. you. Oh, shit. Okay, let's head on back. We did get a pop back here. Your no, name and age. Not you. <laughs> I'm Sylvester, 26. I'm okay. sorry. And Sylvester, why did you end up popping your balloon? Um, so like I'm somebody that wants to have somebody that knows what they want. <laughs> your name and age. Matthew, I'm 26. Okay, and Matthew, why did you pop your balloon? My nose is pierced. The nose ring. I so, know. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> All right. So I know you said nose ring is like a little uh, for you. Is he someone that's your type? Guy gets rejected because he has a nose ring. <laughs> Hey. Gerard. And why did you end up popping your balloon? So I was waiting to hear you uh, explain the indecisiveness indecisiveness thing. Uh, when you told him, you didn't really give a specific reason. So that in combination with your age, um, not something I'm looking for. Why up. are they expecting a feminine 19 year old to know what she wants? Like, are these men feminine? Are these, what's going on? For. It has something to do with that question i feel like i'm spo i'm really spontaneous so me being indecisive has something to do with that mm -hmm. if that makes sense yeah do you know what you want out of life yeah i know what i want what is that i want to be an actress and i want to just live like on the fields like i'm sorry not the fields <laughs> the country like i like the country um i want to have like a farm or everything like that right. and you know like with my family yeah yeah, I just. I'm sorry, I'm a little nervous. <laughs> yeah, you're good. You're good. Yeah, I just have a clear vision for what I want. So okay. I want a woman that can kind of match with that. Okay. But yeah, okay. No you're problem. only 22, so yeah. And over here, we got a pop. Your name and age? I'm John. I'm 27. Okay. Hi, John. And John, why did you end up popping your balloon? So I actually didn't think that you were indecisive or anything like that. I think, you know, maybe it might be the nerves or something. Yeah. But for me, it was like the lifestyle that you said you wanted to live, like the countryside, farm and all that. I've lived in the city my whole life. I'm not a country person. Like I've tried it and I just wouldn't succeed in that. So just wanted to pop and not waste time. Okay, no problem. Makes yeah. sense. And now is he someone that's your type? No. Okay, why not? This is interesting because women don't actually know what they want. And this is very, this is gonna be controversial. But whenever they say, oh, this is what I want for my future. Unless it's something central to their femininity, like having children or her family, it's all negotiable. 
This is the reason why when a woman is with a guy for long enough, she likes all the same foods he likes. She likes the same sports teams he likes. She likes, she takes on his habits. She starts to talk like him. Women get heavily imprinted by the guy that they're with. And so if she finds him attractive, that's really all that she cares about. I guarantee you that if a masculine billionaire straight out of the movie Fifty Shades of Grey walked into this room, all that farm stuff is going out the window because she's just attracted to the guy due to the fact that masculinity supersedes by its very nature femininity. This is the reason why women like to follow masculine men and they're attracted to it. So this entire model of women asking men what they want and then men interpreting what they say literally is literally broken and flawed because women aren't even in a position to say exactly what their future is going to look like because they don't know what they want for their future. The guy that they're with is going to end up determining that to such a huge extent, it's crazy. Even most habits women have before, when they're single completely change and go away when they're with a guy. Again, you think the guy out of Fifty Shades of Grey or take your pick of feminine archetype of perfect attraction walks into the room and says, yeah, you're going to be my wife, you're going to have my kids, but you're going to live in this city. You think she'd say no? Of course not. It just doesn't work that way. And so in that way, I do think that this format is flawed. I will say it does make a little bit more sense when the men are the ones doing the selecting because they're more reasonable and rational. But again, we're seeing a problem when men and women are treated as if they're the same. When we treat women as if they are equivalently versed in logic and we expect the things they say to be based on reality, that is an instant mistake. Yeah, he looks a little gay. Whoa, oh my, I was not expecting that. Oh my gosh. <gasps> What? See someone that's your type? No. Okay, why not? He looks a little gay. Dude, yo! Oh my goodness. Okay, that's funny. That's funny. It's the outfit, obviously, but he's a model, whatever. That's crazy. Wow. Dude, <laughs> dude. Oh my gosh. And another example is that if this were a guy that said that, he would immediately face physical consequences. But because she's a woman, she can just say that. And it's like, oh, wow. You know what I mean? You literally just saw proven in front of you that men and women aren't the same due to the reaction to what she just said. If it was a guy, he's getting punched in the face or at minimum some sort of other confrontation. But this guy is so like, oh, well, your ass is still fat, so I'm not gonna say I disagree with you. <laughs> okay. I mean, if you're not, it's okay, but. And that's, that's actually crazy. It's actually crazy that this guy isn't going to defend his sexuality just because he's attracted to her. Think about that. That is the level of simp that feminism cultivates. Oh my gosh, you have to make the world in my image. But then the result of that is her being single and having to go on a dating show, bro. Wow. Sorry. <laughs> okay. Dude, it's crazy that the response to something like that is just like, sorry, ha. <laughs> like, bro, that's nuts. If you're not, it's okay, but. I mean, I'm here, right? Like. So to confirm, you like Will. Like, yeah. He's on this lineup. Yeah. Okay. Bro, this is crazy. <laughs> that's crazy. All <laughs> right. <laughs> and I think, did we get a pop back here? Oh yeah, we did. Let's head on back there. And at the start, she said she wanted a guy that can groom themselves like incredibly well, which is great. But then she gets upset because again, women aren't logical. She contradicts herself later when she's like, yeah, you're too put together. Your name and age? 27, my name's Daytron. Uh, the reason I pop my balloon, you're very beautiful. Uh, again, it's the lifestyle that you want to live, the country lifestyle. I grew up in the country. Uh Stop interpreting what women say literally, fellas. You're doing yourself a disservice. She's not like you. And, I, and I'm not talking about this girl in the video. I'm talking about the woman that, wh whoever this applies to in your life. She's not logical. She's not talking literally about reality. She doesn't know what she wants. This is the reason why masculinity is under attack because feminism can't just stand the fact that men do know what they want and they do embody reality and they do lead women. This is the reason why every society from China to the Mongols, to the Persians, to the Europeans, to the Greeks, to the Romans, every single tribe in Native America, South America, Central America, Africa, they've all been patriarchs. They've all been led by men because women don't know what they want. And then they're going to be like, oh yeah, you're beautiful and feminine, but I'm not gonna date you because you said something that you don't even know what you're talking about. My response to this girl would be like, yeah, sure, you know, whatever, it doesn't matter. Like. It, your opinions are basically irrelevant unless you're saying something like you don't want to have kids. That would be maybe the only deal breaker because if a woman says she doesn't want to have kids, it means she's like psychologically broken and damaged. But besides that, I can fix basically any problem that you have as long as you're young and not jaded and ruined by the world because that's the, that's the beauty in feminine women. This is the reason why men are attracted to women and women are attracted to men. Uh, that's a closed chapter in my life. Uh, kind of like the city now, suburban area now. So that's just something that doesn't interest me. Like, bro, when you talk to her, she's not trip advisor. She's not giving you the facts, right? Anymore. Yeah. 
I like the suburbs. That's yes. nice. See, she just said the opposite of what she said earlier. She's like, yeah, I like the suburbs too. She doesn't know what she she doesn't know what she likes. Women don't even know what they want to eat for for breakfast, dude. It's crazy. I'm telling you. That's, it. that's all. It's just the, the country part. <laughs> okay. okay, got it. Is he someone that's your type? No. Okay, why not? Um, I don't want to be sound like come off rude. Oh, be honest. Just be honest. Okay. Um, it's just your teeth and your haircut. Okay. Hmm. Okay. All right. So we do have one unpop over there. Okay. Well, he's straight. This is a perfect example of a high quality female, guys. Young, feminine, not argumentative, no kids. She's not imposing. And it's not that she doesn't know what she wants, but she's feminine. Total difference from 90% of the girls that go on the show. In and out. <laughs> <laughs> All right, your name and age? My name is Jared, and I'm 27. Hi, Jared. How you doing? I'm good. How are you? I'm doing well. Okay, so, Jared, you do have your balloon still unpopped. Why so? Uh, I think she's very, 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 very attractive. So yeah, I'm just trying to hear out, see where I'm at. Okay. All right. So are you feeling Jared? Is he simp? Someone yeah. You, oh, oh, Jared, you're the first. Yeah, you know. Yeah. <laughs> you said you're nervous, nervous too. I, nah, it's okay. I was a little nervous, but we good now. Okay. Yeah. All right. Any questions between the two of you? Um, what do you do? I'm a corporate compliance analyst for a global insurance company. Okay, nice, nice. You said you have another question? I don't have one. No question? You have a question? Yeah, I got a few. So, uh, number one, where are you from? I'm from Maryland. What part? Uh, Howard County. Oh, yeah. Uh, number two, you said you like to cook. So, what you like to cook? Everything. I like to try new things. Okay, all right. If you're looking for a specific answer, I really like to make baked chicken, cilantro rice, um, any type of vegetable. I really like broccoli. That's my favorite. Okay. Um, yeah. And then, yeah, third question, I promise. Bro. And she cooks, feminine woman. Bro, W. So I'm doing that <laughs> No, you're good. But uh, where do you see yourself in the next, like, let's say, like, two years? In the next two years, I'll be 24, um, planning, marriage, um, dating. I want to be dating, like, from now until then. Mm -hmm. And then I want to, like, start thinking about having kids, you know. Um, I want to be... Like looking for a house. Based, she wants to start a family. She's 22, she wants to have kids, she wants to get married. The quality difference, you can clearly tell this girl has a father in her life, clearly. Or if not in one, cause you know, I live in an apartment, so. Mm -hmm. Yeah, just having my life a little bit more together when it comes to that, you know, my life is together, but in, sure. that, in that instance, in the love life in, instance. So you feel like, from what you said you're doing now, like as far as career wise, you feel like you'd be able to transition from out of that within the next couple of years? Yeah, well, yes. Just, I want to stay acting, though. But I'm into real estate, so I'm probably going to be doing more of that, like, mm. in, in between. Mm. But acting, that's, it's my passion. Like, I love it so much, like, yeah. you know. Okay. All right. You don't feel like I'm a little too old for you? Mm-mm. You don't look too old. Too shy. Dude, <laughs> based, literally feminine woman. You see it proven here. I said, I said at the start, the ideal would be to have girls in their early 20s dating guys that are 30. Perfect. Okay, so with that being said, is it a yes for you for her? Yeah. Okay, and is it a yes for you for him? Yeah. We got a man! Single cat ladies are freaking out and screaming right now. It's not only that they resent masculinity, it's that they also resent feminine, hot, younger, more attractive women winning. Because again, they're enraged really just by anything that embodies their wrongness. This is the reason why they find facts, argumentative, or standards, parameters, boundaries, oppressive. Feminism, as it's animated by the ideology of the left, is fundamentally at war with reality. Subscribe to the channel, guys. I appreciate all of you watching. See you in the next video.